This is Randy with Tiller. I want to demonstrate today our sheet sanitizer tool in the Tiller Labs add-on. This tool is designed to make your spreadsheets safer for sharing by helping you hide your personal data. The sheet sanitizer will help you anonymize your spreadsheet by duplicating your spreadsheet so you share a copy, not your original. It will scale your transactions and balances so they don't reveal your actual transaction and balance amounts. It will randomize your payee descriptions. For example, Wells Fargo Mortgage may turn into anchovy mode properties. It will randomize account information, including account names, account IDs, and account numbers. It will limit the number of transactions and the number of balances that you share. And it will also unhide all hidden sheets to ensure you aren't unintentionally sharing personal information. So let's review the active source spreadsheet. You can see that the transaction sheet shows um, my, my personal vendors, and the balance history shows my personal accounts and count, account numbers. You can also see here that there are a few hidden sheets, notably accounts and the help sheet. In the transaction sheet, there are 170 or 160 some rows, and in the balance history, there are over 800 rows. So now that you've seen the spreadsheet, Let's open up the Tiller Money Labs add-on and go to the Sheet Sanitizer workflow. To get there, we'll start by clicking on Tools, then Utilities, then Sheet Sanitizer. If you click on this How Does It Work spinner, you'll see a summary of the changes that you can make with this tool. Let's start by scaling our transaction values by 0.8x. So a $10 transaction will show up as $8. And also here, I could remove the transaction sheet during uh, this, this sanitization process if I, if I chose to do that. Let's also limit the number of, of transactions um, that we're going to share from, remember it was 163, I think, down to 100. Again, with the balance history, we could remove this if it's not relevant to uh, our, our sharing intent. We're going to leave it in. Um, and let's scale our balance history um, by 0.4x so that we're not giving uh, too accurate a sense of our financial picture. Let's also limit the history, in this case, to 500 rows. Remember, there were like 860 rows. Um, and then let's go ahead and click on Sanitize Sheet. You'll see a warning. Um, while the san Sheet Sanitizer will help you prepare your sheet for sharing, ultimately is your responsibility to ensure all your personal data has been removed. I'm gonna click Proceed with Sanitization and you'll see the tool go to work. It starts by making a duplicate copy of this Sanitizer demo sheet then it's going to go in and reduce the number of rows in the two sheets um, per our settings. It's going to rename um, the accounts and descriptions. It's going to scale the amounts, and it's also going to unhide all the sheets um, that were hidden. So here you can see our original source sheet is called Sanitizer Demo. If we click on this button, we'll open the newly created uh, Sanitize Sheet. You can see it's been renamed Sanitizer Demo for sharing. You can change this if you'd like. Down at the bottom here, you'll notice that the account sheet and the help sheet, which were hidden in the uh, source, are now unhidden. And the intent here is if there was a sheet that you used to develop um, your personal finance spreadsheet um, that maybe you hid at some point, um, the sanitizer might not, wouldn't know about that, and it might contain personal information. Here you see it, and you have an opportunity, if you like, um, to go ahead and delete anything that you wouldn't want to be included in your share. On the transaction sheet, you can see that the, uh, tr the descriptions have all changed. And um, where there were multiple um, pays or, or descriptions um, with the same uh, vendor, you'll see that they've also got the same random name here. The amounts have also been scaled per our settings. Oh, and also, let's look here. 
the total number of rows has been reduced to 100, including the header, um, per our, uh, our, the configuration. On the balance history sheet, you'll see that we have invented account um, names, invented account numbers, invented account IDs, institutions, and then all of these um, balances have been scaled uh, to our setting 0.4x. One of the advantages, uh, both in transactions and balance histories, uh, to this scaling approach is that budgets and cash flows should still balance if that is what you're trying to show um, when you share your spreadsheet. You'll want to thoroughly review um, the spreadsheet contents prior to publishing to make sure that there's no uh, personal data left um, before you share. We hope that this uh, tool will encourage you to share uh, your workflows, your templates, any of your creations, um, and help you make them safe so that in doing so, um, you, don't, you, don't, uh, you don't unintentionally share uh, information that you don't want in the public. Thanks again, and uh, let us know um, in the community forums if you have any questions about this tool.